Go eat some Lysol or something. Jessica, that was Jessica? <laughs> Baby, what did you do? It's, I, was, I just thought Drew farted out here. Oh my God, turn this, this is a fan, turn the fan on. Baby, oh my go. God. Oh. 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 You should be ashamed of yourself. Obviously, I don't either anymore. God, I just thought I asked Drew before. He was like, are you sure you didn't? Mm. Open that door and open this one. Good God. I'm looking for some Maalox or something for the girl. Where is she? Come here, George. Now you're making me sad. I'm sad too. <laughs> I'm pretty sad myself. You love my stinky ass. No, no, really. I want to know. You're going to the actual Playboy building? I don't know where I'm going, baby. Nick, you're lying right now. You're avoiding me. I, I, I have no idea where the interview is. Like where girls do their photo shoots and that kind of thing? It could be in Hefner's basement for all I know. I don't know. Oh, Nick, stop. All I know is they're going to give me a reach around while I... <laughs> we're doing a lot of press for the for the record. The label set up an interview with Playboy Radio. I'm going on a show with two playmates who kind of host their own radio show. It's not like Howard Stern where they have girls there that show me and all that kind of stuff. It's not like that, right? No, it's not just the they show the whole thing. Oh, shut up. Not only am I doing a Playboy radio interview, but I'm also invited to a, uh, a Spike TV party at the Playboy Mansion. Tuesday, you're not going to the Playboy Mansion, are you? Well, I was planning on it, yeah. Because it's my one day off. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk I to think, you later. I think you're flying out that night, Jess. What? Your mom, your mom said you're flying out Tuesday night. Or when did she say that? Today, when I asked her? Why don't you find out your schedule, and then and if you're not going to... Well, I don't want you to go. <clears throat> I'm yes. walking away. Why don't you want me to go? Because it's going to be my only day off. You're not going to be here, Jess. It's when does it start? Like I just told you, why don't you find out when you fly out, and then if you're still here, then we'll talk about it. If it's not a conflict, what's the point in sitting here and arguing about it? Whatever. <laughs> Talk about it as close as you getting all pissed off about it. Well, I, just, I didn't know I was going out of town, and plus, I don't really like the fact that you're going to be going to the Playboy Mansion. I mean, I don't think, I mean, why would I be excited about that? I just don't understand. You, you act like you're going to like a strip club or something. Baby, you're going to the Playboy Mansion. It's basically the same thing. There's a lot of things that happen in the Playboy Mansion that have nothing to do with nudity. Oh. It's the same way people... And you're going to try to convince me of that right now? There's going to be girls walking around in their bras and panties the whole night. I'm sure all the playmates will be there strutting their stuff. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think you're going to like go home with somebody or anything. I trust you more than that. Gee, thanks. I just don't like the fact that you'll be at the freaking Playboy Mansion without me with girls all over you. What? There's not gonna be girls all over me. I'm going Drew for 
Take. It's the due press for a new TV station. I mean, if you're gonna be all pissed off about it, it's not worth it. I'm not. I'm not gonna be pissed off about it. I'm not happy about it. I'm trying to be respectful of you. If you're cool with it, then I'll go. Michelle wants me to go. Okay, go. She thinks it's good press. All right. She's cool with it. Well, I mean, she, you know. I think it's just the fact that it's at the Playboy Mansion. Well, that's cool. We'll find out. Tonight calls on Playboy Radio XM channel 205. So here's what we've been talking about all day. All right. Is it Nicholas Shea or Nick Lachey? Nick Lachey. That's what I, I thought. See? So you're married now. I'm married. Wow. To one of the hottest women, like, ever. I think so. I do yeah. too. You know, we had a special circumstance in that, you know, she was a virgin and that was something that was very important to her. So, you know, there were certain elements of, of the relationship that weren't wow. explored until... Wow. wow. Four years. So after four years. Without sex, basically. Yeah. Oh my, wow. I don't even know what to say to that. You know what? Dylan's on the phone. We love Dylan. He's our good storyteller, gay yes. truck driver. Dylan. Okay, I, I was down in, in uh, New Orleans about, about four or five years ago. Uh-huh. The headliner was this group called 69 Degrees. And the lead singer went by the name of Dick Legay. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Legay. That's funny. Dylan, thanks for calling. We love you, man. This is Tiffany and Julie. Night Calls, Playboy Radio, XM Channel 205. Hang tight. Nick, is this cool with you? They're daughters of some of our regular callers, and they're professional strippers. And they came all the way out here to say hello. But they're strippers, and I don't know... Is that cool? Yeah, I mean, if they want to say hello. Okay, I'm gonna bring, we're going to surround you a little bit here. All right, how you doing? I want the one with Good. the cell phone, Taylor. Yeah. What's that? Oh, totally yeah, it's what I want. Now, that was Welcome right. back to Night Calls right. on Playboy Radio XM, Hi. Channel 205, no Julie Ash and Tiffany Curtis. Nick Lachey. Looking a little scared. So, over. You know, I'm, I'm, he's all hunched in now. You never know what's going to happen on Playboy Radio. You We've know he's married. Right. What if he wasn't married right now? Would you be like... Oh, my God. I'd give him a laugh down. Yeah? Totally. I love my life, my life, and I love my life. Are you guys going to go buy Nick's new single and strip to it? Oh, sure, shut definitely, up. yeah. I mean, that would be like the ultimate compliment. Not you know? at all. I mean, you all be safe out there. Kisses for all. Mwah. Dick Legay. It's flattery, you know. I mean, yes, it definitely you gotta is. Be, gotta be pretty uh, successful to have the gay cover band, gay tribute band. Yeah, I, I kind of assume they would have changed the lyrics, you know? I mean, the hardest thing could be a real popular gay song. Is that your passport? Yes, sir. What are you going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do tonight? Well, I invited the girls from the Playboy radio station oh. back. Shut up. We're going to have a party, a pool party. Nothing big. Mm -hmm. just, just a couple people. Cool. I love you. You only get to have like three girls, remember. All I need is two. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call you tonight before I get on the plate. Okay. Have fun with the Playboy bunnies. Don't well, pinch too many asses. Call Michelle and tell her I can't do it. Tell her I'm sick. I'm just gonna tell her Jess because. Be really pissed Jessica off. I uh, know she doesn't want me to do it. Just tell her you gotta leave Thursday morning and your house is a f***ing sty. <laughs> tell her yeah, you, I don't even need to lie. Yeah, tell, tell her you can't find anything in your house. Michelle, it's Nick. Hi. Hey, I got a question. Would it be a huge catastrophe if I canceled out on tonight? And I'll tell you why. Only because my f***ing house is a complete disaster and I have like two days to get it together and Drew's over here and we're trying to do stuff. If it's gonna be a big, big problem, I I'll still go. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to cancel and piss anybody off. I just think it's good for you to go. We've already confirmed you going, and you're doing those promos. But if, I mean, if you're completely. If you could see it, you would understand. But at the same time, I understand your position. I don't want to f anything up. You know. I just think it's good for you to be out doing this stuff. Right. All right. I mean, I don't feel very good, but I'll go. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, I just I just started not feeling great, but it's fine. I'll be fine. Okay. All right. Bye. So we're not going? No, we're going. So tell the um, Playboy Bunny who said hi. I will. Come on, buddy. And have a really good time. Can you bring a couple back? Sure. <laughs> yeah, you're so cool. Bye. See you later. All right. I actually tried to get out of it. Drew and I were working at the house, and I was like, you know what? I wouldn't mind just staying here tonight. And as I called Michonne, she was like, I just think it's, it would look bad. You know, we already confirmed you to go, and I think it's a lot of publicity and blah, blah, blah. So I said, well, I mean, if it's going to, I think it's going to reflect badly, I'll still go. Okay. Bye. Hey. Must be cold in Detroit. A lot of iciness. A little frigid. A little chilly over the phone. Thanks, guys. Thanks for waiting. I really appreciate it. What's wrong, Nick? You don't want to be in here with me? No. I'm not very happy right now because I know that Nick is at the Playboy Mansion. I asked him not to go, and then I, did, I didn't want to be stupid about it, you know, like a jealous wife or anything. Hey, y'all. Hi, we're home. <laughs> I need a shower. Well, I don't, I just wish I could have gone with you or something. I just don't like you going there. And I tried to get a hold of you and called you a million times. One, you were out of town. And two, it wasn't a Playboy party. It was a Spike TV launch party. I understand that. Why are you going to take well, it Well, when I'm in town, all you ever do is freaking clean, watch sports, and hang out with Drew. Hang out with Drew? I hardly ever see Drew. Hey, so, uh, golf round two? Go up round two? Well, why don't you try and get here at, like, 1.30? At 1.30? Yeah, can you guys do that? Yeah. Wanna go golf? Hey? Yeah. Why not? I bet you and Lee will go. Okay. Did I tell you there was a dead mouse in the pool? Why were there mouses? They're mice. called mice. Why were there mice? I guess I was going for a drink of water and Shut up. In. I'm serious. I was laying right there on that little ledge. <laughs> I had to scoop it out with a dustpan. <laughs> Crony. I was gonna save it and do something really mean, mean to with me. it, but I decided that was probably not a good idea. No. Not to mention that there were many germs. I don't know. But my, it was all like stiff and rigor mortis. Rigor who? You know rigor mortis. When you die, you, your body stiffens up. Oh. It's called rigor mortis. I don't know. Learn something new every day. We're gonna stop at a golf store. I think we have to pick something up. Yeah, I, mean, I, just, I don't even know what a golf shirt looks like. <laughs> I don't either. I, this is why it sucks about it. It's like you gotta have golf clothes or you look retarded. Right. Do right. you know if we're like playing a game or are we just like shooting? Because I don't know what I'm doing. You're fine. Or is it's it fine. not called it's shooting? Fine. What's it's it fine. called? Putting? No, I think we're playing nine holes. Oh, so it's not like me just like practicing. It's like me playing a game. Huh? No, you're gonna play. Oh no. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> right. you'll, you'll be fine. It's all about hand and eye coordination. What if I accidentally hit somebody? <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna <laughs> hit any. Well, you guess you could. Cause my dad took one of his friends golfing, and it was like one of his first times, and he knocked out a duck. Oh my god. He hit a duck. <laughs> like I'm just scared something like that's gonna happen. Maybe we can all go to the golf store together. We could. Do you want it? I'm hungry. I guess we need to. We definitely want to go to the uh, driving range. I need a glove. <laughs> this is the softest thing I've ever felt. That's perfect. That's perfect. Then. Fits like a glove. <laughs> I got my glove, baby. That's a good start. That's all you need. That's a good start. <laughs> We're being stared at. Is it because my glove is so spiffy? It is a hell of a glove. Baby, you're going to tell me how to hold it? You stand with your feet like shoulder width apart. 
You want to rotate. Keep. You always keep your left arm straight. You know what I mean? Oh, so my you... boob gets in the way. My boob makes it curve. I'm, I don't want to knock somebody out. Well, don't swing until you make sure there's nobody behind you. I'm scared I'm going to miss it. There's so much pressure. I missed it. I missed it. They're putting it on a peg. This peg is called a T. Oh, I made a whatever that's called. You could bend your leg. I mean, bend your legs a little bit. Stick out your ass. <laughs> hey, but you kind of. I give up. Grab another iron. Get like Wait, a... my hands hurt. Oops. Okay, I'm sick of it. I need to take a break. Isn't this supposed to fly up in the air? I need something to eat. Can we just ride around in the golf cart? I have to pee so bad. <laughs> Keep your arms straight. <sighs> Baby, don't get mad. Jessica, just leave me alone, would you? Do you want to play? Play? I don't know. I think I might need to have a couple beers. I'll be bored to death. Anything, anything beyond? I really don't think it's that fun. Like you hit for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna drive the car. Oh! What? <laughs> Watch this guy. Oh, sorry. What am I supposed to do? Just pull up there because that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna hit. Yeah. Anywhere in here is stupendous. Four. Come on, Jess. Let's kick some ass. Okay. Did you get a peg thing? Yeah. <laughs> there you go, there babe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I broke my wrist. <laughs> this is about zero fun today. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got room in that cart? I got a peanut. They're not like, are there porta potties out here? I have to pee so bad. That, that hurts my hand. My hands hurt. Okay, so we played one and a half holes. I can't even imagine playing nine. And that's like a half day, right? For us, nine holes would be two days. It's all right, I'm over there too. Baby! Ooh, get over there! Good job. Get up farther than I did. Mine's down here so much. That hurt. <sighs> that hurt my arm. Oh, come on, you cheap bastard. Yeah, really, come on. I'll get you some for your birthday. I don't have any balls left. There's lost four or five balls in the stupid stinking tea box. <gasps> Baby! Baby! That's where oh, they start. Red, red, white, there. and that one. Um. Black is like professional. Blue is. We're definitely black. You're pretty damn good. Yeah, White we're, we're is black. Here. We're shooting from the black. Okay. I've never seen like four like that. And red is here. for the hose. I hate this thing. Where do I go? Over here. No, baby, get, no, get out of there. You're in there, great. You're in there, fairway. Get out of there. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> This is absolutely pathetic. Well, you don't think it's the same as playing with the guys? So, uh, you're not gonna join the LPGA? What does that mean? The women's, uh... No. The ladies' tournament. professional golf. I guarantee you half those women don't have boobs. They get in the way. They block your shot. Don't you think? Baby, get off the gas. Can't fly. You guys need any help? <laughs> Oh. We got it all figured out, couldn't you tell? Yeah. I'm the director of the show. You guys can help. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. We'll get you, we'll get you, so you like golf and enjoy it. Cool. All right. Very cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Appreciate Thanks. all your help. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If, you're, if you guys need any help. <laughs> Good thing I bought this $19 glove. Wasn't that an adventure? See, isn't it fun to do stuff together? I got a peanut.